All right, guys. Road Warrior back here. I'm actually getting ready to enter one of the more interesting or intriguing comps that I've seen on here that I've yet to play in. Uh, but I didn't want to put this up on my channel. I do have a basic idea uh, of what to do here in this one. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're looking to catch. Uh, it's one point per fish. Uh, you can fish with any tackle, but you can only use one rod. So there's no rod stands during the tournament. You can use your boat during a competition. The goal is to get the maximum points at the end of the competition. It's an hour and a half long. Uh, the trick is you're wanting to go from, you know, it's one per. So, uh, you know, you could go from a shark all the way down to the raccoon, in other words. Uh, so I'm probably going to stick to the spawn points first. But again, this should be kind of a fun one to do. Definitely a different one. Uh, again, the goal is it's kind of a diversity thing. You want to catch one of every fish that you can. Uh, anytime you catch a duplicate, whether it's a, a uni, a trophy, or a common, it doesn't, you know, it won't count. So you're looking to catch something different each time that uh, you pull a fish in. So uh, as well as you can use any other tackle that you like. I'm actually going to use, uh, I'm bringing some lure gear as well as a feeder rod, small float rod, big match rod, uh, as well as a big bottom rod just for the sharks and stuff. So uh, let me just make sure I got a leader here. I do got a leader. So that's what uh, I'm going to do. I'm probably going to start and go for the smalls, and I'll kind of explain as we go here. But, again, I've never played this myself, but this looks like it would be a pretty fun one to do. So I want to say there's over 60 different species. I have done the recatch here. I couldn't tell you exactly, but I want to say there was over 60 different species here. So, uh, And I for even forgot about the Brycon. I did bring some Kamu Kamu in the event. Uh, we get down to that stage, but uh, we'll just have to see what happens. But that would be probably one of the more tricky ones to get, I think, uh, would be the Bicron. So, oh, never mind. I'm not even on the right map. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got, of course, the uh, one controller. My other controller that doesn't have stick drift has just died, so I'm stuck with this one. That's going to make this even more of a chore. So, good luck to all the guys. And special thanks to Sparky and uh, String Weber. We just did a quick practice template around 15, eight minutes. 15 to 18 minutes. So, uh, this one actually should be pretty fun. And we are going to be fishing legit. We are not, or I'm not using the uh, Troy. So when the time comes to go for a shark, if I can get that far, I'm actually going to start with, uh, I'm going to try to put a little mix. If I have to, I'll go into a float for these smalls. I'm going to try to get the floats to start. Thanks, Josh. You too, buddy. I'm actually going to uh, put just a little bit of a mix on this. I doubt that's, you know, paramount, but it did seem a little slow when we did the template for, you know, just a quick practice. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put just a little bit of active feeder in here. Don't know if it would help or not, but uh, just hopefully to try to get some of these smalls out of the way. And there's probably a universal and maybe some molasses or something. But uh, just to hope to get a little quicker bite, that's what I'm going to try. And if I don't feel like I'm getting the bite that I want, I will just put on a uh, a float rod. But that's what I'm going to try here just to... See if it will help. Again, I think the frustrating part, well, this thing's going to be uh, if you keep duplicate catching the smalls or vice versa, especially when you start to, it would be cool. There we go. All right, so I'm going to mix this up and just put it on my feeder rod. I got a small feeder rod with a small hook. I'm going to try to stay with bloodworms and see if I can cycle through both the raccoons, the banded and the spotted. Hopefully pick up the Oscar and the flag tail. But no guarantees. But this is point by point. And I wanted to put it up on the channel. I haven't even played in it myself. So uh, this one definitely looks like it could be fun. And don't forget about the piranhas. Yep, the piranhas are probably going to be the pain, I would almost assume. So um, we're going to go ahead and enter the competition. I'm probably going to start at Orchard Shore if my uh, controller will cooperate with me at some point. And this is an hour and a half long, guys. I'm actually going to start here. If anybody needed this mark, again, on when I put these things up, I try to help out people the best I can. I'm sure you guys have seen this on uh, some of the other comps that I've played in. But uh, this is a nice little honey hole for the for the smalls. So this is where I'm going to start and hope that uh, I'm wishing my buddies Josh, Sparky, Jordan, uh, Fork, and anybody else that's playing in this. 
And did I not put my mechs on? Again, I don't think that's paramount, but I'm trying to look for a quick bite, quick as I can. As you can see, as I've talked, there's already a couple of people that have got some uh, scoring fish on the board. So, Thanks, bro. I'm going to need it. I'm probably going to just sit and teach everybody how to catch piranha for an hour and a half. So if that's what happens, it's just the way that uh, the game treats me at times. Okay, so ideally, if you could pick up three or four points here, cycling through, it's kind of my thought process, and I'm going to cast directly across and see if I can pick up a triura. Thanks, Jordan. And what's going to be extremely ignoring if my stick will quit drifting. There you go. I'm going to try to hold my L3 down the best that I can. I have too much trouble with my feeder rod. I'll go instantly over. I got a small float rod as well. To make it easy, it's pretty self-explanatory though, guys. It's point by point, so every new fish you catch is a point. Doesn't matter how big it is. And look at Josh. He thinks he's playing. He's playing in the uh, the Banded Twins comp. Or no, actually, that's not even the comp. He's still playing the same way he was. Good one, Josh. The spotter of Banded. That's the one I was thinking of, Josh. That's normally what he does in that. He just slays the Oscar. Okay, I did have a bite, but I think my stick drift made it worse. Come on now. Give us a fish. Oh, Fork is in 16th all in the minimal. Good job, anyway. Yeah, you're way up there. You still had a good run, man. Like I said, there might be a magic rock or a magic casting spot in that one or something. It's hard to say, right? Okay, I do have my first fish on again. I will stay with blood worms unless something weird happens. I do think this is a spotted. Yes, it is. And again, trying to hope for a little quicker bite. I don't know if this helps or takes or wastes time, but that is... When I'm trying, again, if I get in trouble, I will go to my float rod. Again, the annoying part of this will be if I catch another spotted. So preferably it cycles through and I can get one of each species. I should be able to get the flagtail, the Oscar, and the spotted and the banded all here. So I can get four smalls here. So there's four points in this particular spawn point. That's why I'm starting here. I will adjust accordingly if something odd happens. So... Who knows, but this should be one of the more interesting comps that I've seen, uh, just reading through the details on it. Which is kind of the way the maroon diversity should be. Instead, the maroon diversity is you're just basically fishing one by one, catching the smallest fish you can, which that one was kind of confusing. This one here is, is actually pretty cool. Yeah, the Bayara, Peacock, Orco, and the Jacunda are here as well. Josh is saying. Yeah, you could actually just cast right there and get the butterfly as well. So there's quite a few. Again, I'm trying to stick with the spawn points for the smalls. If I was able to get all my smalls in this location, 
Uh, you know, when you rotate out, you're going to want to go for Arapaima. But there's also Arapaima over there to the left if you dare battle those from the bank. But again, this is an hour and a half, as well as the Barracuda. I forgot all about the Barracuda, bro. I forgot all about those Barracuda, and I don't even know if I brought... I can't even remember what I caught those things on. But I'm also curious to see, since I've never played in this, can somebody hit in the 60, that 60-point 60 range? One unit at a time. Nice, Josh. Now you're tearing it up. And Fork's in my lobby. Good luck, buddy. Sparky's doing well. Get him, Sparky. And I can already tell you early in, I'm already kind of regretting the, uh, the feeder rod. I'm not 100% sure if this helped me or hurt me. As I catch another fish. Now let's hope this is a banded. If it's a spotted, I'm in trouble. It is, no, it is a bandit. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm looking for the flag tail. Let me double check and make sure. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking for the flag tail. So we got three out of the four so far, the smalls. So we're in decent shape. The feeder rod, can't tell you for 100% sure. It's hurting me or helping me, but... Uh, Seven and a half minutes in, we've got three of the species, so not horrible. And this is where things could get very interesting. Now, if I was really extremely lucky, I would pick up the flag tail right here, but the odds are I'll probably double up on something I don't need, but we'll see what happens. And I am using a really small hook, just hoping to get, and again, I'm not going for trophies or unis. I'm just looking for whatever I can pick up. I don't think it's a flag tail. I think it might be another Oscar. It is. Now, within reason, if you're in this situation, I probably wouldn't burn more than another four or five minutes trying to target out one species when you can go get points elsewhere. So that's kind of going to be my philosophy here. But since I'm here right now, I'm going to see if this cycle outs and maybe RNG will be in your favor or in my favor in that case. And again, if you you have a, a better bait that you like for your smalls, you know, and you better know how to isolate a little better. But I think it's pretty tough to isolate the flag tail out. So I'm gonna stay with bloodworms, catch a few more fish, and see. This looks like it could be a fairly big one, so maybe it is a flag tail. Okay, we got extremely lucky. We picked up our fourth of those, uh, and it's a unique style points. Style points. Got it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and spawn right here. Or not spawn. I'm going to cast right here. I'm going to dump my feeder rod for now. 
if my controller cooperates with me i will dump that so we got five species four species no yeah four species so far um now we're gonna go ahead and you could come here with a minnow i did bring this up set up if anybody cares just to make sure you had a titanium leader you can go for the shark or the uh, trier but i'm actually got set up with the glow crawl and the uh, buzz bait if i miss and i get a big piranha that's a bonus there's piranha here as well um, and i hope i can get lucky and go ahead and get my trier out of the way All right, we did get our Troy Hero, so that's a good thing. Unless that's the biggest piranha known to man. Okay, come on. Preferably you don't pick up the trophy, but looks like I might have. Okay, since I'm already here, I do know that there's Orco, and I know I've got the, uh, there's Butterfly Bass here as well. So I'm going to see if I can pick up anything right here with this. I'll make a couple casts here, because there's Butterfly Bass here as well. And to be honest, I might even... Make life a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my other pole. I have the same thing set up virtually except for it's a 3-0. I'm going to see if I can pick up something here on the side. The Jacunda will actually hit this 3-0 as well. And if I don't have luck within the first few casts, I will go to another spawn point. Okay, even better, we got the Bayara. That's another one off the list. So we don't need another one of those. There is Bayara there as well. I know there's Butterfly. I used to catch the Unique right here, but I think I used to do it with a Popper or Walker. Again, kind of up to you. Uh, the Glow Crawl, as we all know, is very deadly. If you don't have the X-Series Glow Crawl, uh, do your 30-day stay at uh, Weeping Willow. I'm sure most of you guys, if you're at the Amazon by now, unless you've bought a pack recently, most of you should have that. If not, you can pair it with the uh, the actual glow crawl, not the X series glow crawl, and it should still do fine. I'm actually going to see if I can get lucky and work it up underneath these lily pads. If I don't, everybody can laugh at me. Okay, we got something. So the odds are it should be something different than a Bayara. It's definitely not a one of the smaller varieties of fish that we caught. So this should be a point no matter what we get. Great. Okay, we got a red eye piranha. There's one piranha out of the way. 
my assumption is you'll pick up a different one at, uh, at any moment especially if you're using this lure spot I'm gonna cast through here again and just see if I can I'm hoping to get a butterfly out of here probably only gonna give it one more cast here though and I'm gonna rotate out because I know another spawn point that uh, a lot of other things you could pick up Hopefully that's okay. We got the red belly. Okay, so we got two both prawn are out of the way. Now we're just trying to see if we can pick up the butterfly. My apologies, I'm having extreme stick drift here. We're hoping we're not into another piranha. That's a croaker, we'll take it. Croaker, again, that's a scoring fish, as you can see. Just this one spawn point and this one technique, we've got nine points just in this one spawn point. Ah, oh, I missed something. The comical part, the one thing I'm actually going for, it's not hitting. I think I've got what I really want over here. I'm not going to waste too much more time over here. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn back over to the uh, the church spawn point if my controller will let me do so. Okay, it didn't. Okay, now we're at the church. Uh, Croker, a papa. Uh, whiskered I'm actually gonna try to work this a little low and see what I can pick up and then I'll go to the top but there is the uh, flat whiskered catfish over here as well Okay, again at this spawn point, guys, it's just at the church spawn point, but you got the all the bass, jacunda, everything's pretty much right here in this area, as well as the papa, uh, all, all kinds of other stuff as well as over here. So this is a great place over here again at the Sebastian Church. So this is a spawn point to at least try. You can <clears throat> various lures, or if you wanted to use bait, you could. Again, any tackle will work. All three bass are actually right in this area, so this depends on what's active. One regret I do have, I wish I would have brought a, uh, a different, a smaller setup than this. 
My reel speed's a little too fast for this. In other words, you probably would have been better off with a, just a little different reel speed here. Okay, we did get a bass. That's the butterfly and keep track of what you caught. So the orco and the speckled as well is over here. So I'm going to keep casting on various, various locations over here. See what I can pick up. Try not to get stuck on too many. You know, if one thing's holding you up, doesn't make too much sense. So start going for other things. But since I know there's multiple species of bass right in front of me, I'll keep throwing at it and see what wants to bite. I do wish I'd have brought my little Loki, because I probably could have had a couple bass quick, a lot quicker than this right now. As you can tell, since my reel speed's off. I can only get one dot. That's a big, big example of your real speeds too, too quick for the size of gear you're throwing. So I might even, with that being said, try to throw a, uh, a one ounce on, and see if that'll help me a little bit. As much as I want to put the leprechaun buzz on, some people may not have that. So I will throw on just a standard uh, 4 black one. It's a little heavier. And see if I can uh, get two dots out of this. If not, I might have to go to a 5, which is not enormous. But I was hoping in the event, I know Jacunda is out there as well. The Jacunda will hit the, uh, the 3 buzz buzzbait with a crawl quite often. Sometimes you might get them on a 4 but I was trying to stick with that 3 -0. More likely that was probably a piranha trying to eat me up there. Welcome anybody tuning in. We're trying to do the one by one here. I've never played in this nor have I put it up on my channel, but it's a very interesting uh, competition. You basically got to get uh, get a point for each different species you catch at the Amazon. So that's a pretty pretty cool thing here. We got something. We're just hoping it's not a piranha because we already got piranha. And it almost feels like a piranha. Cannot tell yet. If we're lucky we got a random jacunda out there. But more than likely it's a piranha. That will not be a scoring fish because we've already caught it. Okay, I don't, I'm not 100% sure what that is. I'm hoping it's not another piranha. I'm hoping it's a speckled. It is a speckled. That does give us a point. 
Now again, we're kind of hoping we can get an Oracle over here. If we don't, I know where we can go to get one of those. I'm probably going to cast it a straight however next and see if I can get an Apapa. Don't think it's a piranha, guys. But it might be. I'm hoping it's an orco or something we haven't caught. Nope, there's another butterfly that will not count because we've already got one. Um, let me go ahead and cast one out here and see if I can get in the pop of the hit. We already got a croaker, so we don't need a croaker. But the croaker, in the event you don't catch it at that first spawn point, uh, the croaker is as well as out here. I think we unfortunately did pick up... Is that a piranha again? Let's hope this is something that uh, will give us a point. Hoping it's in a papa. Okay, as promised, there is a papa out there. And for style points, again, we got a trophy. Um, now, you could sit here and try to go for an orco. Uh, since we got the BR, if you didn't get the BR in the first spot, the BR is also in this location. If you were wanting to cast in this area. I'm actually probably going to get in my boat, however. Um, and let's go ahead and see if uh, we can go pick up an Arowana real quick. An not an Arowana. Arapaima. Real quick and get it out of the way. I'm going to start with a lower hook size. And just hope that I can get... Uh, a pair of mama real quick. At some point I'll go for shark and I will be doing it the legit way. More than likely with a lure or just a match rod. I'm not bringing my Troy. And I did not bring my Troy. And I am suffering again from massive stick drift. My apologies. Again, anybody that uh, might watch this back someday and you're not on my friends list and I have not gave this to you, uh, you can as well pick up the um, trier here in the event you missed it from somewhere else. I want to say the Orco is here as well. Um, yep, the eel. Don't forget about picking up eel as well. Again, this is a very fun comp. and It's just one of the more unique ones that I've seen. I was kind of excited to, to try to play in this myself. So we'll see what we can pick up here. Again, my controller is not cooperating with me right now. And what I'll probably do if I don't get a bite fairly quick... I will go right back to my buzz, but I'm going to put it on a Tropicana um, and see if I can pick up either the Orco or the uh, Paramima here. Again, I don't want to go really small with my hook size, and I didn't want to go really big, so 7 or an 8 would probably do for the uh, Paramima. That's assuming that spot's active. And the odds are, if I get impatient, I will be bringing up my Tropicana and seeing if I can pick up it up that way but I figured sometimes live bait they're more active to bite that quicker it's hard to go wrong with large minnows I 
I'm only going to give it about another 45 seconds to a minute. If I do not get a ding or anything, uh, I'll make a couple casts at it, and I'll probably have to move on to something else. Come on now. Okay, now we're getting a little action. Let's hope it's a Paramima and not a Triera. I think I got a small one. It's what we wanted. Okay, we got that off the list. Now, since again I showed you there's the Oracle here, I'm going to make... A, Maybe two cast tops at it. Remember, I already got this set up. Titanium would be your friend here as well. You do not want to hook into a unique tray arrow right here on accident. I did have a small hit. I know that wasn't our Pima, so let's hope it's an Orco. I am, however, not going to waste too much time here. I might go straight up and try to pop me an eel. Uh, and look for a uh, maybe a Bakuda. I know I plenty of spots we can get Orco, so I'm not going to waste too much time here. In fact, one more cast tops and I'm out of here. Okay, the spot, I'm not feeling the love, so I'm going to rotate out. In the event that you're confused where I am on the map, uh, Triera, or this is on my old park marks, uh, Triera's here. There's actually uh, Arapaima there as well if you get in trouble, as well as there's Ill right here. This is one of the more difficult ones to get. This depends on if it's active or not, especially in the middle of the day. In other words, I'm not going to waste too much time on it, but I figured I'd drive up here and give it a try. And since I'm getting horrible stick drift, I am going to set my anchor after this cast.
Josh, you ever caught ill in the day? I don't even know if I've ever fist formed in the daytime. Oh, they're here. He just flew out of the water, unfortunately. Okay, we got a eel. We did pick up the eel. Obviously, I don't need a bigger one than that. So I'm bouncing right up out of here. And we're going straight over here. Also, keynote on this next spot. The prawn are in a fork. <laughs> like looking for prawn. Oh, fork. That was funny. All right. Again, just so you know where I'm on the map. Anybody that's watching this back in the near future, you can actually get the ill here as well. Uh, the orco, the butterfly, uh, that sort of thing is always, all, also here. I will show you a mark just in the event that you don't know where you are on the map. Uh, the Bakuda is here, but uh, all the small bass are the speckled are not here, but all the Orco is here as well. Now, I don't have it marked because I've had these marks, but these canals guy almost always have uh, ill as well. So if you strike out over there, you can come over here and at least try to pick you up one and get you a point. I probably should have backed up a little bit, but we'll see what we can get here. In fact, I think I'm going to have to back up. Oh, I think that was... Uh... I'm actually going to back up a little bit here, guys. Want a little bit longer of a cast. Again, there's Trier right to the left, so don't do anything stupid with uh, running Fluoro or something over here. Come on. In the event you're not having luck on top or the bottom of the water, go ahead and use it in a traditional manner. Get it up to the top, walk it three, two, one. And see if you can pick them up that way. There is Baikuda here. This is going to depend on if they're active or not. And if you miss, hopefully it's on an Orco. And if you didn't have your butterfly, maybe you'll miss on that. I think we did that get our Orco, so that's a score. I'll make a couple more casts at it, but I'm not going to get stuck on a um, Bicuda. But since I know where they're at, I wanted to go ahead and give it a try just for the sake of the video. And if I'm able to pick it up, then I'll bounce down the corner around there and see if I can pick me up an arowana. And that was horrible. I messed that all up. What the? Did you guys see that? That was kind of garbage.
Come on, bot kid. I know you're there, bro. I'm gonna give him one more cast. If I can't get this bicuda, I'm gonna spin up and try to go get for an air an arowana real quick. Come on, guy. I know you're there. Hold on, boys. I know I said this a lot. One more cast. Let me get re repositioned here. I don't like my position. Oh, you're here to learn. Yeah, I know this lake well. It's one of my favorite. Ah, oh, like that might have been him. I'm trying to get the bicuda right now, bro. Yeah, anybody that needs that mark, it's here. I'm going to spin out again. I don't want to get caught up on one fish. But there is Bicuda here, I promise, man. Nice 10-pounder, too. And he will hit that. But I can't let him slow down my whole comp for the sake of... I will be back for you, bro, one day. I'm going to wreck him the same spot again. Stick to it for days. Arowana there, but I'm not going to mess with that spot. I'm going up here to this honey hole. And I'm going to switch baits up a little farther. Again, just kind of putting this up as a play along. I am trying to perform well, but I'm trying to share marks as well. This is a nice spot for Arowana. I'm actually going to try a topper. If I have no luck with a topper, I'm going to go straight back to this setup right here. Oh, no. My green one's gone. Let me try this one. times to leave my Loki at home. Do not be a piranha, please. I think we might have got an arowana. If not, I'm if not, I'll mail this uh, piranha to you, bro, Fork, just in case. All right, we do have that. Uh, there's nothing really for me to go for up here, so now I'm actually going to go back here, get in my boat, disengage, I don't need this right now, oh don't stick drift on me now bro, alright well if I just, oh cool. I'm going to leave that engaged. I'm actually going to... Where is my... No, I'm not going to leave that engaged. I'm going to go see if I can get a quick shark within reason. Then I'm going to try to get me a Pariba. Go on, Sparky. I see you, bro. Oh, man. Lag 
for days, bro. Yeah, dude, I've never played in this one. Never, ever, ever. Now, obviously, if you're wanting to do it the cheap way, you guys could just put a Troy on and probably have a shark in 1.2 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and try to catch one with this or a match rod, and then I'll move on and try to get me a Pariba, uh, go over and try to get some Sorbium or something like that. I'm more disappointed that my damn Bicuda didn't hit, boys. That's kind of annoying. I don't need Detroit to catch a shark, though, fellas. Never been more proud of a 158 pound shark in my life, right? There we go. Stick drip for days, boys. I'm trying. I got two PS5 controllers, but one of them, unfortunately, I twisted the other day. Wanted to twist it in pieces, and one of the comps that had me pretty mad, so. Yeah. My other one's charging. Again, since size doesn't matter, I'm going to try to see if I can pick up a uh, one of two ways. I'm going to try to get me some of the smaller varieties cats right here. And then I'll go for a Pariba to the right. If I cannot get a bite on a lure, then obviously... Oh, if you guys need these marks, I guess. Unique Repsol. Both there. But Sorbium is here as well. And of course, Unique Pararima to my right. Uh, Sorbium is all down here. So the catfish are all down through here, boys. Park mark if you need it. Again, going back to uh, the old number one combo in the game for the most part, right, guys? If I can't get a bite on that, I'm going to put on a 5-0 chicken liver and pull it, pull it across the bottom, boys. See what I can pick up. Tiebreaker is the monster in the net. All right. I'm just going to worry about scoring points right now, Josh. I appreciate that. Again, this ain't the best approach. If you want to throw a chicken lever right off the start or something like that on a 5 would be my the best bet, I think. Again, you're not looking for a big one, but the sorbium and stuff usually love these things.
also in the event that you're having a bad feeling if I got it with me do I got it with me this one sometimes will do the trick for the smaller ones believe it or not should be deep enough to hit the bottom Come on, Repsol. We know you're there. Don't make me look bad. Hit it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going small with the three O just because I want to. I don't matter what size it is. Last cast with a lure, and then I'm going to have to try bait. Of all things to get hung up on.
That is not good, boys. Do not put chicken liver in here. I'll give it a few more minutes here. If not, I'm going to go for a pre-buff. Oh, come on. Good ripsaw. Stupid ass. Dude, you slowed me down so much. I could have got the Priva there, but I don't want to play games. I want to come over to a hotter spot. No, oh, that's something else. Again, any guys watching this back, you need a honey hole. You got him on a deep runner? Good job, buddy. Preba here. Shark here. Try air here. Obviously, I'm going for the uh, Preba. Uh, now, again, damn, I got a 6 0 with me. No, actually, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go 8 0. I want to go a little bigger. I don't want a different catfish interfering. But this little trifecta right here, massive honey hole for the big boys. And if I wasn't in contention, I would be trying to get him with a, uh, a shad, believe it or not. But I don't want to go for broke. I got a spot down there. I can go pick up sorbium. Let's try to get this guy out of the way. To be honest, I probably should have just put a little catfish destroyer on there. But come on, way to go, Josh! Stud. Josh is pulling on trophy stuff everywhere, too. Come on, now. I don't want to set my anchor. I might have to, boys. I really might have to. I'm gonna have to set my anchor. I have no choice. And stick drifting piece of crap. Come on.
I'd never in a million years would have guessed I'd have got hung up on a on catfishes. <sighs> Come on now. There we go. Ah. Uh, you got stuck at four after 45 minutes. I'm disappointed I couldn't pick up that barracuda. I used to go over there a lot of time and farm that whole little area. Come on. Oh, what are you doing, bro? There he goes. Come on. Did you get seven from the orchard? Yeah, I was pretty... I was on fire on the orchard, too. That fucking cro... Excuse my language. That croaker was a... That croaker was a bonus. That croaker definitely was a bonus. I wish this guy would hit. Dude, he net. I never thought I'd say croaker was a bonus, right? Come on. Hold on, fellas. I know what he wants. I know what he wants. Why didn't I just start with it? Dude, this is horrible. I'm trying, fellas. Not much more I can do. About to have to rotate, though, which is unfortunate. This spot's almost always active. Have I caught anything? Yeah, I've caught 18 different species, bro. 18 different. This is a weird competition. I've never played in it, but I'm doing fairly well, so. Getting hung up on a Pariba now. It's a competition where you get one point per different species, so you got to catch a bunch of different, different things at the Amazon. I'm getting hung up on a pre, but I'm just trying to catch a pre. But come on, there we go. Just don't be a giant, please. Held me up for 20 minutes over here. Ski on in.
That actually worked out well, fellas. And that's a trophy. Start boat? What is going on? Fishing Planet, you invent new ways to nerf me, don't you? Well, this doesn't always work. Anybody watching this back as a play along? But the sword being, you can get right there with the minnows. Or uh, stick to up my my apologies, fellas. I'm gonna try to pick him up with the glow crawl. Bicuda? No. Stupid bass. I already got one of them. Now, ideally, if you had chicken liver with you right now, that's one mistake I did make. I should have had chicken liver with me. the bass are going to come at me now. Okay, in my situation, what I'm going to do is downsize hooks, back to a five. And I'm not going to keep minnows or on or anything that bass is going to be attracted to. Preferably, I had chicken liver in this moment. Unfortunately, I do not since I got two marks here. I'm going to cast between the two. Give it a few minutes if I don't catch one. And then I'm going to have to rotate.
I'm gonna try him, Fork. I'm gonna try him. I'm trying, Jordan. I'm trying, buddy. Come on now. Come on, Sorbian. I ain't feeling it. I'm bailing. No, that was my uh, Perry Bima, or the catfish. He skied right in for me, too. Yeah, I don't have that with me, unfortunately. Uh, hold on. Come on, fight. This one's pretty cool though, isn't it, Josh? Boys. This one's actually pretty neat. This is the way the maroon diversity should be. Oh, look at Sparky. Get it done, Sparky. I wish I had chicken liver right now.
Yeah, it's definitely. And you, I, when I read through the the description of it, I thought it looked like a fun one to try. It's hard for people to glitch their way through this one. I'm sure several of them probably use the Troy for the Apriba and the uh, the Shark more than likely. But other than that, it's kind of hard for them to uh, stack up multiple species like they would in a lot of the other comps. Yeah, you could troy this whole thing, but at least they can't stack. Now, assuming if they were using a troy, we'll see. We'll see. We can look and see if they got a troy on their thing, but more than likely, they probably have a troy in there with troy. But we'll see at the end. Or it doesn't even really matter at this point. It's not on the player. It's on the uh, the game to get the troy out of the out of the comps. Oh yeah, they can one pump catfish. They're doing it. Uh, they're doing it in the meaty fellas. They're doing it in tiger trails. They're doing it in trophy whiskers. How do you know? Because you can tell the people at the top have toys in their hands. Better not be a croaker. I think it is. Ah, I love that little guy. Good grief. Fork, did you get your croaker? If not, you can put it in your basket. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, tons of them. Come on, I know this spot is full of these things. I'm just wasting away here. I got another plan. I might be able to get a double. I'm going to go back to the church. Come on, bro. Stick drift. Might be able to get a whisker or a sorbium. Very possible I got a prana as well. Especially given my hook size. Or a croaker. I forgot the croaker even hit a freaking 
cut bait. Good God, the croaker. I, I believe so. See, when I first played Maroon Diversity, um, I was confused, and I went to fish for the big fish, and then I realized everybody was catching the smalls. Maroon Diversity, you just catch as many as you can as the smalls, which is doesn't make sense. By the name Maroon Diversity, you would think you're catching a diverse group. Point by point would make more sense. Or, you know, Amazon diversity would make more sense uh, considering maroon is basically a point by point. But uh, we'll see. Come on, be a whiskers. Be a whiskers. Is it a rip saw? Oh, we already got you, bro. But yeah, as far as I know, Fork, and I got to look. I only got a couple left to put up on the channel. I haven't played them. There's an eel one. I can't remember what it's called. It's basically it's however many eel of the longest length. I think it's at Gen or somewhere. I haven't played in that one and a couple other ones, but I almost got them all done. But they're, the eel's never on when I'm on. And I don't think this one comes up very often either. That's why I went ahead and muscled through and put it up. Because I've never played in this one as well. I'm half tempted to put a buzz bait on. And if I miss, maybe I'll get a Jacunda. And just work the bottom. Come on, be a catfish. Hit it. Hit it. Is it going to hit it? There we go. Don't be a croaker. Give us a whiskers. There it is. There's the whiskers. Sorry, Sparky. Didn't mean to kick you out of there, buddy. Let me see. Uh, all right. This is a really odd technique, but I'm going to try to do this to get a Jacunda. Try to go low to avoid the bass. I'm trying for it, bro. Oh, that might have been him. Trying to go low so I don't go right through the bass haven right there. I can get Jacuna hit on the bottom. I got the wrong reel for this if you guys can't tell. Too fast. Forgot my Loki boys.
Please be a Jaconda. Don't be a bass. Orko, what are you doing living on the bottom, bro? You shouldn't even be at the bottom. Jaconda, come on. No bass, please. No prana. What is that, fellas? A prana? Of course it's a prana. What else would it be? Uh... Jacun over here, but no guarantees. I'm trying to get away from the bass. Just give me one Jacunda. That's all I want. Yeah, I like Blaze the Maze, Trophy. I like all those. They're all fun. But unfortunately, that one I have to join in the, in the, the uh, Troy endeavors with them. Because there's no way in hell to even keep up with them. I tried doing Don't Bully Me Shark before with a deep runner. I did get 10 shark. But I, I, there's no way to keep up with them. I like to got one more point.
Of course. Of course you get a 400 pound shark. Wonder how he did that. Thanks, Jordan. That's not bad, man, for our first time doing it. I was hoping to stay that top five, but nonetheless, this will be a good play along. And again, any of you guys watching this back, obviously, you could save a ton of time using a Troy. So all up to you guys on how you play it. I'm not the guy that's going to sit and judge you. But yeah, I'm definitely proud of my shark, proud of my performance, and I'd Definitely think this will help somebody that's never played in this. So for me playing it my first time, that just shows how much I actually know this map. So anyway, uh, as this concludes, thank you guys for helping out in the practice we did there for uh, a 10 or 15 minute practice we did for that. So I'll look at the schedule here real quick. We did catch, uh, was it 20 different species? We had a few misses. Uh, biggest error I made, I think, is when I got hung up on those catfish. Obviously, bring you several baits. Chicken liver dominates for these small catfish here. Uh, wasted a little bit too much time on those catfish, and I probably could have moved on to something else. So, uh, taken away from that, I gave you guys plenty of marks. Anybody watching this video, uh, definitely a nice base foundation that you could build off of and probably score fairly well on this one. So, um, again, that does include uh, conclude the uh, point by point here on my series. Uh, thanks for all you guys tuning in. Now, uh, tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure I'll even what time I'll get home from work, but uh, hopefully. Oh, I have not put Cheesy Can up. I haven't put that one up on my channel, so I will be putting that up hopefully if I'm home in time from work. Uh, so, anyway, you guys take care, and uh, that was a lot of fun. We'll see you guys next time.